Top dog, buy them all. Yeah, I'm burning it up. DPGC, you should be turning it up. CPT, LBC, yeah, we hooking back up. And when they bang us in the club, baby, you got to get up. Cause homies, thug homies, yeah, they giving it up. Low life, yo life, boy, we living it up. Taking chances while we... Okay, so let's start this. Um, got Escape of the Mind right here. And, alright, so we're in the beginning room. Now, I have played this map before, so I know pretty much where all the secrets are. And we're going to be shooting for semi-completionists here. So, gotta say, this is my first uh, YouTube video ever, first Let's Play. So, sorry if I'm kind of, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Newbie. Newbie. Newbie's the word I'm looking for. Alright. So, we're just going to jump right into this. Uh, I have my brother playing with me. His name is uh, Adam, and he's using my friend's account. We share this Minecraft account. So he's using my friend's account, and uh, so he's going to be known as Archangel. Archangel. Yeah, no, my real gamer tag would be MBGXD. Okay, uh, alright, sounds good. too good. Okay, so this is Escape the Mind, and it's a puzzle map made by Billeth, and it's a great puzzle map. You should definitely play this. I played the original yeah, when it was... Here? What? So just one. No, I'm going to do that in a second. Just... Anyways, um, great puzzle map made by Billeth, and... um. I played the original when uh, he uh, first came out with it, and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. There's a second one, too, and you're an idiot, Adam. Uh, but, um, yeah, he made a second one, Escape of the Mind 2, and that one's amazing as well. And recently, Built has gone back, and he's redone this map and made a lot of different side puzzles in here and a lot of side objectives. And they're very complicated and kind of hard, and it's just it's awesome. And what I've been able to do is I've been able to play this map quite a few times, and managed to find most of the secrets, and I think I have the semi-completionist criteria down. So we're gonna just take a look at that really quick. No, you think that you have all six semi-completionists okay. oh, yeah, yeah. done. Okay, so in order to be a semi-completionist, uh, you must do three out of these six objectives. Uh, and I think I've done all six, so we might even be shooting for like parts of the completionist criteria down here. So I'm just gonna read off semi-completionists, uh, find at least one of... Uh, Find at least all of uh, uh, find all of at least one kind of scavenging sand. Uh, I know to do that. Talk to a severed head. Complete at least one ending. Find those challenge gates. Complete one of them. Uh, complete one backroads puzzle and access the library. And we're going to be trying to do that throughout this playthrough. And then if I get even more done, we'll check the completionist stuff. So. Thank you. Can tell them about some of the glitches in the map, though. What glitches? That we talked to Billis about. Oh yeah, yeah. When we come across them, we'll uh, we'll kind of uh, work our way around them. But there's not that many. This map is made really well, so there's not really much to worry about. So, and Billith has pretty much fixed every problem in his way. And he's adding even more to the map. There's actually a part of the map that isn't even complete yet, because he's going to be updating that soon. And when that comes out, I'm going to do another Let's Play just on that area. But anyways, uh, what we're going to do for now is we're kind of going to ignore the side objectives and just go straight for the main objectives. And you're going the wrong way. Okay, so I'm going to read this sign, and you need to get to that room ahead, up there. Uh, but you need, uh, you need an item to do that, check upstairs, seek glass, and seek through. See through. Good luck. And Adam's already gone ahead of me. <laughs> I said you were going the wrong way, but indeed I was wrong. Okay, uh, so what you're going to want to do first, you want to go to the, the maze of the mines, a giant glass maze of confusion. I already messed up. But I already know how to do it, so it's going to be pretty easy. So just follow these simple instructions. Ready? Right, left, 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 right, 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 left, right, up. I know. Uh, if you guys are having trouble following along, uh, Good luck. play it in slow motion. All right, so right, left, right, right, jump, uh, left, left, right, up. Yeah, I quit. <laughs> Alright, and then you're gonna fall down to the lava right here, so you're just gonna... Nope, it's water. Anyways, so... I know that uh, you guys are having trouble remembering that. Um, I'm not gonna bother oh, I'm gonna catch <laughs> going up. through it, because I'm that, catch would, up. that would ruin the fun in trying to find out the maze yourself. And as you notice, there's a sign up there, we'll be going to that later. But for now, we're just grabbing the ancient wiring in that chest right there. So that we can get into the room uh, that were that was in, near the spawn. So catching up. And as I said, I'm gonna go do these side objectives later. I just kind of want to get through the basics first, like what's the easiest things to do in the map. So we're gonna get through that, and then 
we'll get to all the fun side missions. And Adam's stuck somewhere in the base. So I think, I'm not. Uh, I'm uh, caught up. I went around the whole thing. All right. <laughs> nice. Nice job. Let's go. So, yeah. Sounds good. I was going to leave him there. But... Oh, 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 and we're back. Oh, this is nice. Oh, did I set my spawn? Yes, you did. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's books in here. I didn't read the books. Oh, Zach. Oh, oh my gosh. Skipping okay. stuff. I know, I'm so sorry. Manual, uh, what we're going to have to do in Escape the Mind, we're going to think, explore, and read. All right, think, obviously I know to do that. Adam, not as much. Uh, explore, I've hey. done a lot of that. And we're going to read. And if uh, you've made it this far, congratulations. Well, I skipped everything. Uh, set spawns, inventory chest. I really don't set spawns all that much. You don't really need to, but it's nice if you want to. Uh, keys and levers. Uh, well, keys are levers. And then we got tips here. All right, awesome. And then vestibule, which is basically the area that we're in right now, and uh, beginning. Uh, this is just some background information. Basically, what this is saying is that we're in a mine and we need to escape. So if that's confusing, don't play this map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, half of Zach, we just lost half our viewers. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so this door seems to be broken. Not anymore. And these plus and minus symbols might, might help you finish uh, this puzzle up ahead. But Not really. No, I, I don't really need to use them. This puzzle is pretty interesting, though. It's a cleverly designed puzzle. I have never seen anything like it. Uh, basically, it involves a bunch of redstone and moving pistons around. And what you're going to have to do is you see those little green blocks right there. You're going to have to move them underneath the, these glowstone lamps. And then once all three glowstone lamps are lit up, then you press these buttons uh, to open that door ahead. Now, there's multiple ways that you can solve this puzzle, but I just kind of work with it. I don't really have any method. To me, it's... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but just kind of watch what I do, and I guess repeat exactly what I do. That's always one way of solving things. Well, that's a stupid way. <laughs> hey, don't, don't criticize. I'm helping the viewers. Um, I solve it relatively fast. Like, this one's stickier, no? Oh, you can just push this one. Um, no, no, that works too right there. Yeah. Oh, darn it. No, come on. Zach, wrong one. Okay, yeah, let's push this one. There you go. And then the last one. Bam, there you go. And now, now that it is complete... Oh, wait, show them the door first. Like, I've already shown them the door. It's right there. Wow. Anyways, uh, so now we're going to just press all three of these locks and just go through the door. Oh, and that don't is press the, the locks before you... Yeah, yeah, definitely don't press any of these locks until you've put all the green blocks underneath these. Otherwise, you might mess up this puzzle. But anyways, love this puzzle. It's very creative. We have to actually solve a lot of them later, uh, towards the end of the game. But, yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to read these signs. It's going to tell you that this uh, item will help you hit plates on a far <laughs> fishing pole. And um, you're going to have to look for obsidian for the next way out. The uh, pull the lever. Nothing. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> pull and be quick. And um, so before I pull, I'd like to uh, look at a little hint that was given to us earlier about the beginning. Was it in the beginning? No, it was not. It was manual. Zach, do you want to stay back this time? Or do you want All right, to tips, and it says, uh, remember that ground made of sand or gravel on a map uh, like this is hardly ever stable. That's sand. Zach, do you want to stay back? Kind of... Uh, so sure, why not? I'll stay. I'll stay, because I, I discovered something kind of cool. If you, if you aren't able to do this, there is something that will help you. All right, so Don't I'm gonna pull that life, little chill through that cosmic pull, and I'm going to Adam's gonna run, Wee. and what's gonna happen is all that sand will drop and you could die, but you keep your items on uh, death, exactly. so it really doesn't matter. Exactly. But also, if you don't feel like dying, there's this thing right here. Wait, wait, that exactly. oh, teleports you back to spawn. Come on, I was gonna show you 360. Dude. No, I was gonna 360. You're out of us. Yeah, come over here. You're 360 off the edge. Come on, let's go. Alright, so we have one minute left in this video, so we're just gonna... Uh, <laughs> nice. We might have to end this, Adam. Already? Already? I, I can't believe it. One minute. We, we've, are, we've gone through only two parts, like two puzzles, and we have to end it already. It's very long. We're it, it's a very long map. There's lots to do, and there it's it's difficult to do it all. Kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, children pay no mind to what my dear brother has to say. He's... Uh, challenge and oh, okay, he, he, okay. He, he died again how did you what are you doing I'm just jumping off okay so anyways uh until next time uh, i'd like to thank everyone for watching and um just yeah
It's a great map. Love it. Billeth is a genius, and he creates puzzles that are just so confusing, but awesome. So um, I just have to say I love this map, and I'm going to shoot for semi-completionists. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.